In the more than 50 years of space activities, the space surrounding has filled up with debris. Currently, over 6,000 tons of materials made up of launches, satellites, and fragments of these orbit the Earth uncontrolled. Most of these space junk is located between 500 and 1,000 kilometers from the Earth's surface, where the first collisions have already taken place. Although the probability of impact is still sufficiently low to endanger the commercial and scientific exploitation of space as a resource. However, the situation is rapidly aggravating and poses a real threat for future missions. In the most crowded orbits, especially in low Earth orbit, the collision between large size objects can give rise to a cloud of small fragments, which in turn end up colliding with other objects. This, in the end, will generate a chain reaction, which is known as Kessler syndrome. The problem is that some of the most commercially interesting orbits may be not usable for decades or even centuries. In order to prevent the Kessler syndrome, the European Space Agency has launched a call for ideas on innovate solutions to the space debris problem. Open to all European universities, the Aerospace Faculty of Technical University of Madrid is among the three selected projects for active space debris removal. At present, we are working in the project called Ion Beam Separ for Contact Debris Removal, which is the result of a close collaboration between, between two different teams of the Technical University of Madrid, the Plasma and Space Propulsion Team and the Group of Space Dynamics. We have proposed a novel solution in which an ion beam ejected from a Shepard satellite is directed towards a target debris in order to modify its orbit or attitude. In this scheme we can see how the Shepard satellite gets close to the object that it wants to displace or the orbit and shoot an ion beam against it. The ion beam generates a force on the object, but on the Shepard satellite as well, so that in the end a second propulsion system is required on board of the Shepard satellite so that the distance between the latter and the objects it wants to displace remains constant at all times. The main advantage of this system is that we can avoid entering uh, into contact, direct contact with the uh, uh, debris we want to the orbit which may be tumbling or rotating uncontrolled in space. This is the main uh, inconvenient, the main ch technological challenge of uh, traditional deorbiting systems. With our system, we can act on the debris we want to the orbit from a safe uh, distance of a few meters uh, without actually docking uh, into it. One of the challenges of the study is to understand the behavior of an orbiting body under the effect of a plasma beam. It is indeed a highly non-trivial study, mainly due to the complexity of the dynamical system and the plasma debris interaction, among other factors, which led us to develop sophisticated numerical simulation tools. The strong point of the concept developed in our project is twofold. First, it reduced the complexity of debris removal by not requiring any docking. Second, it makes use of technologies already mature in space applications. Therefore, we are confident that a first deorbiting mission based on our concept would be possible within this decade.